I now recognize the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Quigley, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, perhaps now more than ever, we need to recognize the critical role a free press plays in our democracy and those who play that role so well. Today, I rise to honor the life and legacy of an award-winning journalist and dedicated public servant, Elizabeth Brackett, who died on June 17th following a tragic accident. Her death is already being felt by her colleagues at WTTW, the entire Chicago journalism community, and all the Illinois residents who have relied on her reporting for unparalleled insight into the pressing challenges that confront our nation and our world. Working at four television stations spanning five decades, Elizabeth was an accomplished journalist and news program host who asked public officials questions that really matter. In the past, people have asked if I'm afraid of a journalist who raises tough questions. The answer is no. I'm afraid of a journalist who asks the wrong questions, who doesn't know what questions to ask. Elizabeth was a journalist journalist who knew not only what to ask, but how and why. Her thoughtful, smart, and incredibly well-researched approach made us all better at our jobs. After retiring from her full-time position at Chicago Tonight in 2014, Elizabeth continued to contribute to the network, primarily on environmental topics, such as the health of the lakes in which she frequently swam. In particular, I remember one of the most recent interviews in 2017 when she asked me about efforts to keep Asian carp out of the Great Lakes. It was Elizabeth who asked me about the environmental impacts in such detail and accuracy, providing viewers, listeners, and readers alike with an in-depth understanding of the invasive species, a critical issue for our Great Lakes. Resourceful and passionate were two words often used to describe her. Carol Marine, Elizabeth's longtime colleague at Chicago Tonight, said it best. Elizabeth was going to be your competitor. She was out there to get the story, get it first, and get the story best. That's what made her so good at what she did. In addition to journalism, her ambition was front and center in her unmistakable athleticism. She began competing in triath triathlons at the age of 50 and became a national champion in her age group. From beginning her broadcast career in 1977 as a researcher at WBBM-TV to becoming a weekend anchor and going on to win National Emmy and Peabody Awards, Elizabeth was an institution. I extend my thoughts to her husband, Peter Martinez, and her entire family, including 10 grandchildren. She was a role model and a force for truth. We will all miss her expertise and energy, both in and out of the news studio. Thank you, and I yield back.